Welcome back to another episode of Greg Tech New Horizons. In between episodes, I set up the second machine on mo most of these slices here. I have uh, two steam macerators, two steam compressors, two steam forge hammers. This one is just uh, the alloy smelter and the extractor because I haven't set up this area here. Um, I'm gonna put some pipes going below into this area over here, hopefully. That should be something I do this episode. And another thing I did is I put this uh, barrel over here, which is nice because it like blends in. The The way you make these barrels that uh, are drawers, I guess. Yeah, these are frame drawers. And the way you make them is with this uh, framing table. You put a, a frame drawer, which is just a bunch of carpenter blocks and chest. And you can combine any blocks you want for like the sides and stuff. O over here, I upgraded my bulk storage as well. You can see I'm using these uh, frame drawers. They look really nice. Each each one of these holds 64 stacks, so it's way better than using just chests if it's a uh, bulk storage. I'm using uh, them for rubber wood, the, this red wood that I'm chopping down all around my base, and also the coins I get for doing quests. Which will come in handy later, I guess, but not yet. Uh, I upgraded my storage area here, which... I mean, an iron chest is the same as a double chest, but... Since it's only one block, I can push them one block back. So I have actually two more rows, I guess, of uh, iron chests. So I have a lot of ores, I have a lot of ingots but that I got in between episodes. I did a lot of mining. Just general, like, uh, collecting of items. Not Nothing crazy. And the goal for today is to get steel. To get steel, you need to make a bricked blast furnace. To make it, you need fire bricks, which are made from fire bricks. They are called the same thing, but the recipe looks like this. You need six fire bricks, a bucket of concrete, and two gypsum dust. To make fire bricks, you must cook compressed fire clay, which is made by compressing fire clay dust, which is crafted by combining clay dust and brick dust. Now, returning to the fire brick block, it needs a concrete bucket per block, and to make that, you need calcite dust, stone dust, quartz sand, clay dust, and a water bucket. 36 blocks and one controller made into a structure like this is a brick blast furnace. Sounds easy, right? In order to get uh, calcite, which is one of the things you need for steel, you need lapis veins, so I went and found these. And to get gypsum, you need these mineral sands that have uh, gypsum as the second thing there. So I collected a bunch of lapis and, uh, I guess, calcite and gypsum. And it should be, they should be somewhere in here. And calcite here, I can manually put it in. Gypsum, gypsum and calcite, yeah. Put one in one of these macerators and the other in the other. And... <laughs> Hit it with my hammer, turn it on, very nice. What to do during the meantime while I wait for that. Um, I guess I can make this, yeah. This over here, the work table, it is really, really good for crafting anything with liquids that require one bucket of water, for example. Or later, for, for the, what I'm making now, is also going to need uh, concrete buckets. So a work table would be really, really good for me. I can start working on that by making bookshelves. And to make bookshelves, you need wood planks. To make wood planks, you need to compress wood pulp. And to get wood pulp, you need to macerate anything that's wood. Any any logs and stuff. So I have a lot of these here. Just like one stack is definitely going to be good. So I need to macerate it. And oh no, I can't do it while that's happening. So I guess I'll split it up like this and prioritize these and just see how fast this goes. I hope it's at least a tiny bit faster than, than ores. It doesn't seem to be. Oh well. Okay, actually, I wonder how many of these pulp do I need to make one bookshelf? Because I think I just need one. It's six planks. Six planks. To make six planks, you need eight per. That's one plank. That's one and a half planks. Okay, so I'll, I'll let it do it like three, four times, I guess. Maybe I'll make two. Maybe I'll make two of these, actually. Uh, that's three. That's, yeah, plenty. Okay. 
So now I'll let it do it a bit more. I, I think I'll make two bookshelves at, uh, at once. So I take the wood pulp and I compress it, right? Put it in just one because I don't want to overpower. I mean, I guess these are done, so maybe it's not that bad. I'll put it up here actually, yeah. Because then it's going to split evenly, make eight in each. All right, that's six. That's all I need for now. Take some books and bookshelf. There we go. One bookshelf made. Very good. Quest complete. And then I get access to this uh, work table. And it's just the uh, iron screws, which I should have enough. So I can do this and it needs a crafting table. Yeah, it makes a bit more than what I need right now. All right, that's the crafting tables. And there we go, a work table. Very nice. Claim that. Oh, I guess I also didn't mention this. I put uh, a tool rack essentially over here, which is just more frame drawers, which hide blend in to the sides here. I think it looks pretty good. So with the work table, you can see I place it down and it has inventory slots similar to the crafting station, which can access a chest right next to it. The slots here, um, I guess it's better just to show it off. Um, what's an annoying recipe? Let's say making iron into like rods and then screws, right? That's a bit annoying. Okay. So you put the saws and the files in here. You put the iron ingots in here. Then you take an ingot, make a an example recipe. You do this. You can right click to save it to lock lock the slot. And it, it can remember nine possible recipes here. So you take this uh, into an iron ingot, uh, iron rod, I mean. You do that. Then you, no. Then you saw it in half. Then you get iron bolts as a recipe. Lock that. Then you take these two bolts and you file them and you get a screw. And so you lock that recipe as well. And what I can do now is now that I have all these three recipes locked, I can shift click the iron rods here, make a stack, click that, make a stack, click that, make a stack. Wait, why is it not? Oh, it used up all the files. Oh, I see. I made a lot of bolts. <laughs> okay, let's get more <laughs> files. And yeah, so now I have a bunch of screws. So you can see how useful that is, just being able to click here and not having to click the recipe in just enough items or whatever it is. So that's nice. Uh, this can be used with like water buckets as well, and you can do like multiple, multiple crafts per click, which is really nice. Highly recommend making a bunch of these, which is why I'm going to go for maybe two or three at the same time already. Make another work table. Um, so I think one will go over here and another will go over here, maybe. Uh, they don't access chests next to them, sadly. So these are all the slots you can have here, which is not great. But it's it's you can live with that. So another thing I'll need definitely is water over here. So what I'll make is I'll make a seared tank. I'll make a seared tank and then hook up water to it. So I can put like do crafting recipes that require water over here. So I can take a bucket and take it out of the tank. Okay, so now I can make the, 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 the thing, the seared tank over here. I'll put it, where should I put it? I kind of want to have it in the spot where I can see it, but if I do like over here, for example, I can see it from this side as well, which I don't particularly like. So maybe, maybe I can do a cover on it and that won't be too bad. Like I, I can still see that there's a cover there, of course, but at least it's not visible like that. And then from here, I can see the water level, the fill percent, I guess. My idea is I can probably use these pathways, like dig below the pathways and then have these as like nice organized tunnels for moving fluids and stuff around under my base. So I think I'll do something like that. 
I guess this far. So it's both of these blocks. Uh, yeah, I'll do something like this. Now there's actually quite a lot already cleared because of the cave below. All right, I guess I'll be back when it's all done. So see you in a bit. Okay, now that I've dug out this area here, and something kind of funny is like there's a spawner right below my base here, a zombie spawner, which I don't know if that's going to come in handy later or not, but I guess I'll try and not break it. <laughs> Unless it's really, really in a bad position. But I actually found the place where my pipe, like the water pipe is. So I can do this and that. And I think I will bring it along the right side here. And just bump it all the way here. Okay, I'm here now. Uh, connect this, connect that, connect that. And I need the wrench, wrench, connect that. And it's filling up with water, perfect. And now I can just hide this whole area. And there we go, I have access to water from, from for my work tables, very good. Okay, great. Uh, I can make two more of these, I suppose. Two more work tables. Or just two more bookshelves. Nah, I'll just make them into work tables right away. Put them somewhere, like here. Make each one have a specific use, specific resources. I suppose a cauldron over here is also required. Cauldron will be used for cleaning dust. Okay, nice. Cauldron set up. These piles, which is almost a stack already, gypsum ore and calcite ore, crushed variants. These ones need to be either with a hammer manually or, or I can use a forge hammer and crush it up into impure piles. So forge hammer, take this, it gets crushed. Let it do that. These are done, 50 of each. And then you take these impure piles and you take a water bucket from here, very nice. And then you just drop some uh, dust in and it gets cleaned into calcite and gypsum. Okay, so the, the dusts and stuff have uh, ground up in the thing. It took a really long time, so I just uh, decided to stop recording and wait for it to be done. Um, so all the dust I needed for like for this stuff. So clay dust, brick dust, uh, calcite and gypsum. Actually, did found find some um, some impure piles. I had a chest here with impure piles and like crushed stuff as well that I hadn't looked at. Turns out I actually have precisely two stacks of each, which is really nice. So I washed everything, made it made it into dust. I'm ready to do the recipe. So what was it? Also, I set up this work table with all the recipes I might need for all the tools. So refilling uh, tools when I use them up is a lot more easier. <laughs> a lot easier when you have this thing, so you can just click and choose whatever you want. Uh, then I refilled all of these to be 16, because it holds 16 stacks, so. Uh, 16 in here, all of these, wire cutters included, everything I might need. So I guess I can start working on the on the fire bricks now, or whatever they're called. Multi-block goals, 72 gypsum per thing, which means I might be able to just make one or two, because you can actually share the blocks somewhat. Fire clay dust, you need just bricks and clay. So. I don't think I need to spend all of it on that because I also need clay for the recipe later on. So I'm not sure how much I should do. I'm going to do two stacks right now. I might be wrong. There, I don't know. I'm not sure. So that's the fire clay dust, which then gets compressed. And that's going to take forever. While I was waiting, I realized you need, you need to have access to these hoppers because otherwise... Well, most of the time you don't, but sometimes you do. So I decided I need to like leave a hole in so I can actually access everything. And then also put the covers on the back side here. So they're covered from this side as well. So I, I, I cannot see the 
cable management from this side. Just, no. I mean, I, as good as I can get it to look right now, I would say. All right. Now, this took a long time, like 30 minutes, maybe even more. Uh, all of the fire bricks are now compressed and smelted. And also enough quartz sand to hopefully do the whole recipe. We'll see. Okay, let's go in here. I think like this because there's not going to be enough space. So I need this. I need fire bricks, this recipe. And to do it, you need bucket of concrete. And to do that, you need water buckets. And I think I'll do four crafts at a time or even eight. Let's, let's, let's do eight. Let's do, I think I need 16 buckets then. And okay, so here, yeah, my hammer broke. I can just go here, look at the hammer and have another hammer. Nice. And that's 16, very good. Okay, uh, half are gonna go, I guess I should use this one for concrete only. That's gonna be better, I think. So it needs calcite, stone, quartz sand, and clay dust. For this, you're gonna need eight buckets in here, and also I need to fill up eight buckets like so. Okay. And then I can shift click that. Provide them with the buckets. And if I do this, I can then shift click and it's going to convert all of these into concrete. And then all of these, if I put them in here into fire bricks, that's eight fire bricks at a time. And then I refill these buckets. Okay, these are going to be the last eight now. Ooh, I need more stone dust. I really don't have any more, right? Okay, uh, what's the what's the easiest way to make stone dust? Cobblestone in a macerator. Is it going to give me what I want? Let's see. No, this is going to give me gravel, right? Like in a macerator. This just gives me gravel. E no, it gives me stone dust. Okay, great. Whatever. Uh, sure. Okay, four. Stone dust. Very good. Okay, now I can finish making these concrete buckets. And that was perfect. Amazing, actually. The perfect amount. And there we go. That's actually a stack of fire bricks. Amazing. Uh, yeah, and these were just left over, I guess. I used everything perfectly almost. Like there's a whole stack of everything made a whole stack of bricks. That's nice. All right, so just the bricks are not enough. You need this is like the controller for it. So you need four iron furnaces, which I should have, but I'm, I'm gonna make more of these. So let's make four more. That's convenient. Let's make two of these. And okay, uh, that should be everything I need for this rest this uh, thing here. I won't claim any of these yet, I think, because I'll, I don't know. I'm not sure about which ones I will even need. So whatever. Now I got to figure out where I want to put it. And I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like this area here could be fine. Like, like in here. Although that will block the entrance a bit, so I'll put it one block away. So I can actually get in. So this is the shape here. If I do this. Like this, and it needs to have like the top open. So it's like a funnel. And then you put the controller here. And give it a sec. And there we go. I have the furnace. And since I have more, I can actually share this wall. These these blocks here, I can share them with uh, another another furnace. Another blast furnace. Uh, actually, wait. I have to check something. Uh, not F7. F9. Ooh, not great. 
That's not great. The chunk boundary is here. Ah, okay. So if I move it one block this way, I can't enter here. I would need to move the entrance to here, but that's fine, I think. So yeah, I'll move it over. This needs a wrench. Okay, so, oh, they all need the wrench to move. Great. Now I can place it again. That should refresh and be correct. And then the other controller is gonna go here using the same wall for this one as well. I sh it should be enough. I'm hoping it's enough. I did not do any math before doing this. Okay, great. I actually have four left over. And this works and this works. And now I gotta put more iron in. I could put some iron in and some charcoal like this two stacks of that and there we go we're starting to make steel and if you look at this recipe is there steel how hard is it to find steel i don't even know whatever you can see it's slow <laughs> you can see it's slow so these are you should probably keep running like 24 7 essentially like like almost anything like coke ovens as well you want to keep them running all the time all the time you can realistically and i have access to so many more things now that this is available steel because then i can upgrade all these machines to uh i think they're like hardened machines or something like that which is just great uh more speed more efficiency it's always needed by that next episode i'm gonna have Stacks and stacks of steel, probably, because that's just a lot of waiting required, and I can also go mining in, this, in, the, pro in the same time as well. Um, something I wanted to say is I have uh, reached 10 subscribers, and I thought I should uh, somehow reward you for watching this, I guess. So I, I had the idea, a very original idea that nobody's ever done before. Trust me, don't look it up. So, I decided I should make a a place to mark down the subscribers that I guess all the subscribers that want to be put on the wall that can be put on the wall like like the names of subscribers so leave a comment if you want to be on the wall and then say something that can be written down on the wall so it's gonna be like your name and then in quotes something that you said yeet So you can you can be on the wall if you want, <laughs> um, and if I do change the base uh, base setup later, I will keep all the signs. Just put them somewhere else, remove them, make sure to to keep this forever because the series is hopefully gonna last a long time, not just like one month or two months, a long time. So that's a way for you to be immortalized on on YouTube as well, I guess, if you want. Um, but yeah, I think I'll I'll leave off uh, leave the episode with that, and uh, hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, see you in the see you in the next episode. Bye.